Hack is best. I'm Ukash from House Devices. We're here at Superboot 23. Uh, I'm about to show you our five new modules. Let's start with Ostrava. This is a four channel stereo mixer with four channels. Each is fully stereo with uh, a stereo auxiliary send as well. So no mixing down of your signal before it gets sent to the, uh, to the effect. Uh, each channel has a uh, individual control over the uh, auxiliary send mode. When it's green, it's a uh, post fader. When you push it for one second, it's a uh, pre fader. So you can have a 100% wet signal even with a uh, auxiliary loop. Um, it features, um, uh, of course, the send level and the balance control, as well as uh, volume control via CV, so you can use it as four stereo VCAs. Let's just turn it on again. Uh, it has a pair of uh, direct inputs, so you can use Ostrava to mix uh, up to five stereo sources. The direct inputs are sent directly into the sum outputs. Uh, the second module is uh, Bochumin. This is a uh, expander for Ostrava. It adds a second auxiliary loop. Uh, it's got uh, four manual controls over the send level for the AUX B uh, and the CV control over that as well. Four uh, gate inputs for muting and unmuting Ostrava channels. It's all clickless, obviously, so, well, not obviously, but of course, in our case, so uh, you can use it in a performance. Uh, and also to return level controls on the Bohemian panel, so uh, you have uh, direct manual control over the uh, return volume of the effects that's uh, in the auxiliary loop. The third new module is DEVA. This is an expander for our multi-effects uh, module Timishara. This one adds two um, external feedback loops. Each has its own switch, so you can set it either to either positive or negative um, feedback uh, individually because some effects sound better with uh, positive feedback, some sound better with negative feedback. Each feedback loop has a tilt filter adjusted with these sliders or via CV, of course. Uh, mm, the return level is CVable as well. And the middle slider controls the DSP clock rate. So you can turn it off, and now Timishao operates at its own 32 kilohertz, but you can engage it and adjust the filter, the slider to taste. You can overclock it by a factor of two, so up to 64 kilo kilohertz, uh, and down underclock it down by a factor of 16 so 16 times slower about 2 kilohertz so a lot of grit a lot of uh, lo-fi goodness this one really opens up even the simplest effects that because you know everything everything sounds better when underclock for me as well <laughs> at least uh, so this is the first uh, first three the um, fourth is the Dresno and the fifth is the Rostock. These are two new members of our 8-bit Leibniz subsystem. Dresno, this is Dresno 2, so it's an updated version of one of the first modules from this uh, lineup. Uh, we've added a range switch, which uh, in the lower position, it operates within the range of uh, 10 volts peak to peak. In the upper position, the uh, range is 20 volts peak to peak. So plus 10 volts down to minus 10 volts. Uh, we're using 16-bit converters now, so uh, the signal is much more stable than in the first Dresno. Mm, so uh, it helps with some of the, new, uh, the other new modules because they really do need a mm, very stable signal. And uh, last but not least, when you uh, now Dresno is calibrated, when you set the output gain all the way up. Any change at the lowest significant, significant bit results in a uh, one semitone change uh, if you patch the deck output to a volt per octave input in a filter or an oscillator. And the last one is uh, Rostock. This is a binary data pipeline. Uh, actually, it's, it's like a shift register. It's eight shift registers in one. Uh, it's like a, like a delay for data. You can uh, 
you can set the number of steps it delays that is the clock pulses up to 64 down from one you can control it via cv or manually of course if you use cv you've got built-in attenuation uh, you can loop the delayed um, uh, sequence so you can capture it in the into the buffer and use it for uh, regular recurring uh, drum sequences for example uh, when you get bored with the loop sequence you can push the scramble button and then Rostock performs an XOR operation on the incoming data and the loop data so the loop is still looping but it's evolving everything on the CV control uh, and last but not least these inputs these inputs are actually gate um, not gate but clock inputs for each of the um, bits so you can clock each bit separately with a separate clock so the number of steps uh, of the delay steps is global for the whole uh, module but you can say clock the uh, most significant bits with a very fast clock and it will uh, last an instant but you can clock any other bit with a slower clock so the number of steps will be the same but the length will be very different uh, this is uh, especially uh, handy when uh, Rostock is used for CV generation co combined with Dresno which has a uh, DAC output uh, you can uh, go really crazy with that so that's it that's our five new modules hope you enjoy it cheers bye bye